No. Let's kill this bastard. I'm supposed to capture him, but I'm got a feeling that's gonna be pretty much impossible. If I had a taser, <laughs> be nice. But I do not. Got him. Almost to prim. Got some. Dead. Apparently, that something went wrong in the meeting between the jackals and Red Bear. You should investigate the corpses for information about what transpired. Dog corpses? What corpses? Oh. Double cross. Bobby, now that Cullen's dead, it's my turn to run this crew. I don't give a fuck what they say about Red Bear. He's gonna bend to our demands on this negotiation. If he tries to get tough, we'll let the dogs on that half-breed son of a bitch. Just wait for my signal. If I scratch my head, then the deal's good and we get the improved price. If I scratch my nose three times, then let the dogs loose. You've got to show everybody that we've got balls, or nobody will take the jackals seriously. First step is letting Lead Bear know that we won't take his shit anymore. Zack. Well, the dogs are dead. Zack's nowhere to be seen. Um. Oh. Who the hell are you? Hell's bells. They even shot the dogs, didn't they? Easy there, partner. This ain't an ambush. I'm Conrad Dillon, and I'm in the same line of work as you. I was tracking old Red Bear, but I guess we're both a little late, eh? What do you want? I have a proposition. Let's work together on this thing and split the reward. Red Bear's close, but I doubt I can take him alone. 2,500 caps is a lot of money, friend. I don't like your face. Uh, yeah, sure. That's great. Don't worry, I won't slow you down. Meet me outside the emergency service rail yard. I have a contact there. Hopefully, we can get the drop on Red Bear. Sure thing, boss. Here we go again. Uh, we could just run there. You know what? Why don't we just... There's no good way to do this. It's up over the hill, too. Um... Uh, hell with it. Let's go straight there and see what happens. Probably gonna spawn into the middle of a bunch of enemies, but see how it goes. Or not. But I gotta wait here for him. Oh no. Okay, I missed. Missed what that just said. Fortunately. Why do you gotta lag in the pit boy? Wait for Conrad. Oh, here comes the Legion. Great timing, assholes. Not the time for a bunch of stuttering. Get him, Cass. Yeah, I think this is just a random. I don't think this is related to the quest. Skirt-wearing bastards. I don't think that was it. Legion thing was un unrelated, I'm pretty sure. The hell's Conrad? Take that. have water. Okay, you just wait. I'm waiting. I'm gonna get tired of waiting. Change. Oh my god, enough with the Enough! Stop 
Doing that. Wait for Conrad Dillon. Okay, I'll wait for an hour. There he is. You made it. My contract is hiding over there. Mather, come on out. Contact, you mean? Mather. What up, Mather? I see you've met Dylan. I've got some bad news. Dylan there is not who he seems. He's working with Red Bear, just like me and the eight gunmen surrounding. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's do this. I only want red deer, red, red deer, red bear. Push me not kill all your men. Nobody wants that. I'll probably regret this, but I know your reputation. I'll leave with my men, but you sure as fuck better kill red bear. If he finds out that I double crossed him, it's going to be a dark day for Mr. Mather. I like That's your, uh, bear gave me. It says where we're supposed to meet. Maybe you can find him there. I like Dylan your fallout three armor. It out of here. You better watch out for that snake. Later, kid. Got that waist town helmet. I kinda saw that coming. Oh, the random freezing is just really helping. Fuck. Mather. After you finish dealing with Mayor, get rid of Dylan. He's a treacherous bastard and I don't like his mustache, so slit his throat. Meet me outside the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters like we agreed. When you show me Mirror's head, I'll deliver the payment. Red Bear. Well... Sorry to say, buddy. Coming for ya. About had it with the son of a bitch. Come on, freezing gun. There we go. Something about hotkeys. Hotkeyed weapons. This gives me... Quiet, too quiet. The meeting site for Red Beer, Red, Red Beer, Red Bear, and Mather is strangely empty. You have the distinct feeling you're being watched. You can say hello. Let me guess. Oh, we're watching you. Blah blah blah. You're in my sights. Run. Yeah. Fuck off. Come and get me. I need, oh shit! I need to kill the sniper. Yeah, where he might be. <clears throat> or not. Where are you at? You? Over here. See you. Just barely. It's gonna still boy. Got him. It's like playing planet side. Visible snipers. <laughs> you pansy. I'll take a penetrator. Okay. Going north. 125 damage 14 oh it's better eh, I'll put it in my stash I'd rather use the regular one now let's see here Charlie I'm heading north to see what I can find outside west side most of the caravans are lightly guarded or just packs of settlers so it'll be easy pickings I'll put in a good word I'll put it a good word in for you with Marco since he's always scouting new talent for his crew right there all right, I am sick and frickin' tired of chasing this guy around. He's been leading me on for long enough. Let's pull out the old anti-material rifle, put some nice explosive ammunition on it. And where's this marker lead? All right. I'm not just going to kill this guy. I'm going to blast his corpse into little tiny pieces. Where you at? One of the more major bounties, that's why it's a... Uh, such an elaborate kind of thing. You're not rich. If he is... 
Maybe I have a chance to bring him in. It's Matt Jackson. They're dead. All dead. Yeah. What happened? Red Bear. He he killed them all. I went to West Side to get supplies. When I got back, he he'd already left. I shouldn't have left them. I should Who was killed? My pa. My brothers. He took the supplies and just killed them. I know they wouldn't put up a fight. We we don't believe in fighting. No wonder they're dead. Why would that man kill them? My pa didn't even believe in using guns. Why did he have to die? I know. I I don't know what to believe anymore. What should I do? Buy a gun. Well, uh, probably send him to the followers. Sounds like a good place for this guy. All right, if if you say so. Where was Red Bear headed? I got a glimpse of his gang in the distance. They were they were headed toward Mount Charleston. I'm gonna I'm gonna do like you said now. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, go out here then. I'd just run if uh, I hadn't already been chasing this pansy for so long already. If he's such a badass, why doesn't he just try and kill me? Alright, I've got a weapon repair kit. Good to go. Yeah, he's not gonna be here, is he? Oh, there's more of these assholes. <laughs> Gotta love it. Love the explosive ammo. These guys are relentless. I just killed a group of them. Wanted to save my explosive ammo for this douchebag. There is scant indication of Red Bear's presence. Perhaps you should continue up the road. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I wish I didn't have to close my damn room door every five seconds because of stupid cats. Alright. <clears throat> He's gonna run out of road sooner or later. Now oh, here we're gonna find another clue. It's gonna lead us to the opposite end of the Mojave or something. Oh dear. Oh god. That's not good. <laughs> I can't believe it. Another, uh, another crash. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, let's try that again. I will be glad to be done with this bastard. Back onto normal bounties. Well, except for the... The Enclave guy. Eh, interesting. Tell me this is them. Oh. I think you got this. Okay, never mind. Tell me that's him. Oh, it's not. Holy crap, what blew up? Whoa. Get out of here. Need to use a doctor bag. Apparently I'm thirsty too. Pause the game. <laughs> the hell? Ass is stuck under that somehow. This guy is the biggest pussy. Keep sending other people after me. Really mere. Move your ass. Alright. 
Let's see what they got to say for themselves. Killing Mirror. Luther. Fucking Red Bear cheated on us the last game. I know it. What's really crazy is this. He says he has to get back the drugs we lost. All we have to do is camp out here. He says to get back the drugs we lost. All we have to do is camp out here in the mountains and ambush this mirror person who's supposed to be some badass bounty hunter. Well, supposedly it's the one that got Eileen and Kurt Kato, but I don't believe those bullshit rumors. Everyone knows Eileen was killed by another fiend. You can't trust a woman who makes a cock necklace. <laughs> As for Kurt, nobody knows. His whole crew just got wiped out one day. I figure it was NCR Rangers. I mean, it had to be, right? What kind of fucking bounty hunter takes down a whole gang of fiends? Red Bear said he's going to see Flag, and that fucker creeps me out more than any damn bounty hunter. Heard some crazy shit about his bunker, you know. One up it by Ruby Hill Mine. Bad mojo going on, going on up in there. They say it's some kind of cult. When you step inside, you never come out. Who the fucker needs religion when you have good drugs? Anyway, somebody's coming. I'll tell you the rest in person. The courier should get this to you by Wednesday. Honcho. We're going into another bunker. I'm starting to lose my patience, honestly. Since you and your boys are too stoned to take instructions. I'm leaving this tape for your sorry asses. Even though you lost the game last night, I'm gonna leave the drugs, booze, and ammo with you. In exchange, I want you to kill a bounty hunter coming after me. I suspect the hunter will track me into the mountains, so set up an ambush. Get off your asses, clean those rifles, and sharpen the blades on those saws. That hunter comes. You better be quick. If you fuck this up, I'll cut all your guts. Feed them to my wolf pups. Okay. If I have to go bunker diving after this fucker. Watch, I'm going to get to him and I'm going to have the option to turn him in. I want to kill him so bad, though. So bad. It's not even fun. Hatch to the bunker. When you've entered the sacred property of the Temple of the Order, you best state your business, stranger. I'm here to kill every last one of you. <laughs> Looking for information on Red Bear. Well, all right, stranger. Well, speak to the father, Aaron Flagg. He'll be able to help you. Don't do anything stupid, though. The beacons are watching. Fantastic. Just what I wanted to meet. Another cult. We don't have enough of those in post-apocalyptic Fallout universe. It's always nice to have one more. Oh man, I'm really wishing I would have killed hey. him now. You the guy? Deacon. Who the hell do you say to talk to? Let's talk to D. What do you need? Bye. Nothing. I do approve of the Fallout 3 Waste Town helmets Even though. Watch, now they're gonna be like, oh, he's down in the southeast Mojave, the exact opposite side of the wasteland. Can't believe how long it's taken me to. I think this might be the main, or one of the main bounties, though. Alright, where is this bastard? The cloister. Holy cow. And so, brothers and sisters, oh, remember the words of the prophet. That is not dead which can eternal lie, and with strange eons even death may die. Um, did you just quote H.P. Lovecraft? Seriously? Call of Cthulhu? I approve. <laughs> I approve. I like your armor. Hello, my son. What brings you to the People's Temple of the Order? Looking for info on Red Bear. What's your background? I once worked for the vile forces of mechanical devilry, serving the gods of a long dead world. They called themselves a Brotherhood of Steel, but they're a twisted cadre of rusted ideas and dying ambition, fated to perish as a relic. After many tribulations and much wandering, I received an epiphany from the old ones, and henceforth, I'm resolved to deliver their message. Okay. What is this place? This is the People's Temple of the Order, a shelter for the tired, desperate, and helpless, and a rampart against iniquity. 
Mm-hmm. They are merely aspirants and have not proven their worth. In time, they may earn the privilege of speech. Look, buddy, I really like your gauss rifle and your power armor. Oh, maybe I'll get a chance to kill him later. Looking for Red Bear. Perhaps. That depends on your motives, stranger. Why do you seek Red Bear? Because I'm going to butcher his stupid ass. Let's lie to him. Marco? By all means, I'll tell you everything I know. Red Bear left not long ago to deliver his last captives to some mercenaries camped further up the mountain. You can find him here. Pl please, give Marco my best. You'll tell him I was helpful, yes? Of course you will. Good luck. Have fun with your little cult. I think uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be back here later to kill you and take your shit. But uh, not right now. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Well. Just run up there. Better be there. Super, super antsy. Or patient, I guess. Should say. Put that away. Chase this asshole all the way across the wasteland. Or at least it's got to have at least been an hour. I mean, it's probably probably even the edited format. It's probably been an hour. It's been way too long. What is he up the hill? Hmm. There was a path going up over there. I'm not sure if I should have taken it or not. Let's assume not. And I wish I had a ripper for when I kill this guy. Very unkind. The arcade's still figuring out how to get back to the followers outpost somehow. Jeez. That was a long time ago I did, uh... I did the uh, Enclave quest. I think that was episode, uh, I don't even know, 40 something. Maybe it was like 51. I don't. It was a while ago. It was before Lonesome Road, so it's been quite a while. <clears throat> okay, quick save. Because crash. And freeze. Watch, he's not going to be here. So I could have gone around. There's some people here. Uh. None of you have names. You took your time, bounty hunter. Hey, you are fucking. You don't know it yet, but you're in a tight spot. You make one wrong move. My men will send these captives to hell. But if I wanted to kill you, it would have happened already. You've shown some guts coming after me, so I've got a proposition. You're gonna turn yourself in. Actually, you know what? Let these leave the captives out of this. You're such a badass. Fight me yourself. Okay, scrapper. You and me, but it's on my terms. Oh, you kidding? Knives me. or fists? All right, knives. My favorite. I think you'll regret that choice in a few moments, but it doesn't really matter. I'll store your gear in the footlocker. In the unlikely event that you kill me, you'll find the key to it right in my pocket. If I die, the captives are yours by right. My man won't touch you. Of course, we all know what's going to happen. Here's some leather armor to wear. Oh, God. Just to keep things even. That's enough talking. Let's do this. You know what? I think I made a mistake. Aha! I don't think I have any. Oh, I got cast to help. Of course. I took all my stim packs too. Get him, Cass. Get him. Where he kills me. You used a stim pack. Kill him, Cass. Kill him. Kill him. Ah. Red Bear is dead. Oh. No shit. Well, I'll tell you what happens now. 
No. Okay, hold on. No, call Polly. Got a cool knife. Alright. Let me get my crap back. You discovered a note that reveals the fate of Ethan's niece Polly. Far from being half a hapless slave, she's been turned into a hardened raider. <laughs> You'll have to decide how to break the news to Ethan. Okay. Let me just get my things back here. No, pop that. Here we go again. I gotta do this all over. Four, five, six. Um, oh, I forgot to hotkey my stim packs. Supers. <laughs> I was lucky I brought Cass, I would have died. Uh, what's going on? Am I over encumbered again? That. That. Okay. Let's set these people free. Uh, release. Okay, bye. Release. Okay, bye. And bye. So, Even get out of here. <clears throat> so you can avoid the splash damage. We're not done. <laughs> Look out, Cass. Oh. Okay, fine. We'll stop. Uh, Cass. <clears throat> there. <clears throat> Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I'm so over it. Okay. He's dead. He is dead. Finally. <clears throat> Let's see. I have to go back to uh, Good Springs and tell dude about his ace. Let's get that over with. All right, where is this guy? Here he is. Morning. What? I have uncovered information on Polly. Oh God. You're serious. Please, just tell me straight. Is she dead? Did he sell her? What happened? <laughs> you tell her she's dead, she was sold to Legion, captured by super mutants. I think it's best just to tell her she's dead. I feared that's what happened. I couldn't imagine her surviving all those years. She was such a gentle girl. Thank you for looking into it and for bringing Red Bear to justice. Here's a little something I was saving for you. Goodbye, and thanks for your help. It's time I left these parts. Hey, what did you give me? I assume it was a weapon. Oh, it's a 12.7 pistol. High damage. Cool. Alright, well, you know. Let's go turn in the bounty now. Be done with this red bear bastard. Get back to more normal bounties, maybe. Hopefully. Alright. Morning. What can I do for you, young man? Okay. I killed red bear. Hold on, just let me verify the finger. Be damn, that sure is Red Bear's finger. Bounty's a bounty kid, and I guess that old bandit slowed down and lost his edge. On behalf of the NCR, thanks for taking that bastard out. I don't know what you're gonna do with the caps, but you sure earned them. Hold up. Something kind of important has come up. I just got word that some ghoul bandit is camped outside Novak. 
getting a lot of reports that a power struggle has erupted in the local signicate, and this might be connected. This fella outside Novak is some kind of ghoul gunslinger, and he might have a stake in the whole affair. The only ID we have on him is Rounder. He robbed a caravan yesterday and killed two guards. My orders are explicit. Kill the ghoul immediately. We don't have time to put up posters or any of that bullshit, so I'm counting on you. In case you're wondering, the reward is 500 caps. And no, you don't have a choice. Get it done. Okay, then. Here's another one of these. One of these randoms. 72 hours. I wonder if, um... These are, like, repeating something. Let's see where that one... <clears throat> Pardon me. Where that one is bringing me. Okay. That's the Ranger Station, Charlie. Well, let's go try and do that one real quick. I'm not sure if they end or not, but it's kind of on the way. So, might as well stop by. Alright. It's this guy. That might be them. Who's this? Are they fighting the gang that watches over the road up here or something? Looks like it. Um. What is all this? They kill him for me? Vipers. Must be him. I could do without the stuttering, thanks. Let's restart the game because I got that weird black landscape thing happening. Yeah. Indeed it is. At least it worked this time. But we are going to move on. What the hell? How'd the NCR die over here? Freaking Legion. This off. Go to hell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, that was quite the little slaughter fest right there. All right. Uh, now, since I'm right over here, there's actually a bounty. That you can pick up at this ranger station. So let's check it out. Guess it doesn't hurt to have multiple bounties up. I'm not gonna loot all these people. I just, just, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna. It's not here. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Wanted. Bounty of 500 caps for the Adam, uh, capture of Adam R R Reznik. Zeznik. <laughs> Wonder for connected slavery, human trafficking, last sighted near Wolf Ranch, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see here. Let's, uh. <coughs> God, excuse me. Um, let's get back to what we were doing. Investigate reports. We're barely close to Wolfhorn Ranch though, so maybe we can just head over there. And uh, I'll have a few bounties to turn in. Alright, where once I'm done with this main one. There's also three bounties on the board outside that new uh, bar uh, south of Novak, so I might pick those all up at the same time also. 
Easy there, don't shoot. I'm just looking to conversate. Haven't seen anyone around this ranch since the owner left for no apparent reason. I'm struggling to remember his name. God damn age is getting to me. That doesn't matter. I think I know why you're here. I've seen you before. You're that bounty hunter who worked for Stephen Randall, right? Randall was a good man. He had a lot of anger in him, but still good in his core. It's a shame what happened. Anyway, I'm guessing you're looking for that slaver, right? Rizabaznik, or however you say it. He's a piece of shit. Every once in a while, the NCR passes through trying to find him. And it's common knowledge he does business around the ranch here. But what they don't know is that he's right under their noses. His bunker's out over yonder beneath that overpass. I can see that you got something to say, so spit it out. How'd you know Ranzel? As a well-traveled prospector, I knew quite a few shady characters in the Mojave. Randall always paid well for information. Normally, I'm reluctant to share my secrets, but Randall was trustworthy and he wasn't stingy with the cash. It was nice while it lasted. But what are you doing? Oh, there's a lot of good scavenging. I mean, prospecting to be done down here. A lot of folks are scared. The Legion, Jackals, Vipers, and Banditos. But they rarely roll through here in the forest. Most often it's just caravans and traders. Especially those dealing in human commodities. Adam, or fuck his last name, you know who I mean. He's subtle enough to avoid the NCR, but I've seen where they're operating. Normally I say live and let live, but he's different. They call him the Butcher for a reason. He's a goddamn monster. Why are you helping me? Randall did me a solid on more than one occasion, and I never got to thank him. I figure this is the next best thing. And I hate slavers, and will continue to do so until my dying day. Twenty years ago, they took my wife from me. It ruined my life. I looked for years, but never found a trace. Even the men who took her are mystery. I figure getting back at old Rizm... Rizm... Fuck face. It was me a small sense of justice. <laughs> Just get him, okay? Sure thing, buddy. All right, kid. Good luck taking out that scumbag. I'll be around. <clears throat> All right. Voice is starting to go out. Sorry for the hacking. Recording this a lot longer than I thought. Than I thought it was gonna take. I see the hatch. Look safe. I feel like... Let's pull out the old game freezing pistol. Oh, didn't freeze it. Okay. Hold it right there. State your business. Here to kill all you. I'm interested in doing business with Mr... Fuckface. Uh, uh, excuse me. His office is the first door on the right. <clears throat> sure. Hey, come on in. Have a seat. There's coffee if you like it. Make yourself at home. It's no rush, but when you're ready to talk business, just have a seat and we'll get started. Mm-hmm. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Adam Resnick, and as you probably know, I deal in human property. I apologize for the dank setting, but the NCR's presence dictates some degree of secrecy. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, take him in. They just go ahead and tell him. Okay, okay. Let's not do anything hasty, all right? You're not the first bounty hunter to come calling, I'm afraid. Look, I account for these sort of things when I estimate overhead. In fact, I have a special fund set up for this sort of situation. I sense that deep down you're a practical person. I mean, after all, how many bounty hunters are idealists? <laughs> In light of that, why don't we talk turkey? Uh, no. Let's, let's do this for a change. You know, all this time I've been sleeping with one eye open, wondering when an escaped slave or an ambitious guard will take me out. I never wanted to do this. It's the only way I know how to survive out here. But, maybe I can get a new start. <laughs> it's ironic I'll wear the collar. 
I suppose it's fitting. Goodbye, bounty hunter. Okay. Didn't even put up a fight, huh? Get out of here. Good enough. Got one alive, finally. <laughs> finally. It only took me well over two and a half hours of bounty hunting. Get one alive. Suppose I could have gotten a red bear alive, but I wanted to blast his corpse into little bits, so... It was worth it. Alright. Back to this other quest. Just this delayed. North of Novak, okay. Of the Gibson Scrapyard. Hey, wait a minute, didn't... <clears throat> I'm gonna take a look around because... I almost forgot about the uh, ribbon guy, or whatever his name was, the uh, the one bounty I went chasing after an hour ago or so. Wonder, I really don't really feel like patrolling the road right now, but I am going to have to get this bounty sooner or later. Yeah, I decided to go to Novak and uh, just kind of head up the road and... Uh, <laughs> God, sorry. And uh, look for anything out of place. Maybe we can spot this one enclave bounty guy. Some old guy. Wait a minute. What is this shack? Don't think this was here before. Sure, it wasn't. Looks pretty suspicious. Rogers repairs. Hmm. Uh. Hello. Yeah, a kid, huh? Well, hello there, stranger. Thanks for stopping by the shop. I'm Alan Rogers, owner and operator. What can I do for you? I brought you to Novak. It's relatively safe, and I've managed to eke out a living over the years, tinkering and fixing things for traders and travelers. My wife passed a few years ago, and my son was killed fighting those savages at the first battle of the Hoover Dam. That's his picture over on the wall. I tried to dissuade him from joining up. Don't waste good iron for nails or good men for soldiers, I said. He got swept up in it all along with his friends. Now he's gone, and it's just me and Sally, his daughter. And if you're wondering about her mother, it's a dead end. She was a harlot, nothing more. She ran off with some gambler after Brian died, but I can't complain. Having Sally here is a reason to keep getting up and trying in spite of it all. Seeing her smile is all the motivation I need. Do you have any information on Arthur Ribbon, old man? Alan Rogers, same initials. I'm sorry, but that name doesn't ring a bell. Something matter with Sally? Sally's deaf, I'm afraid. She's got plenty of brains. I mean, she reads every book I can scrounge up, and she's got a sharp wit to boot. Even though she's a fine lip reader, she'd still be helpless out there in the wasteland at her age. If something happened to me, I just don't know. I've taught her how to hunt, skin animals, and fend for herself, but she's still young. She'd be easy prey for raiders or those scum from Caesar's Legion. They don't have much regard for women, much less those who are impaired. I've got a feeling that this is the guy. Of course, it's not going to turn out to be as simple. We thought, I don't know if I'm actually hidden here. I'm going to use a stealth boy. Because my HUD is kind of odd. I'm just going to take a, a poke around. See if this is who I think it is. Oh great, the Foot Locker is... I'm pretty sure what I'm looking for is in here and I can't open it because of my 
messed up ever. Uh huh. Residential citation and a thank you with enclave gear. Well, let's read these notes. You can find the tab. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> thank you, Captain Ribbon. Thank you for provide providing information on the hidden cache of enclave munitions. As promised, you have my personal assurance that your identity will remain safe. Your chosen alias of Alan Rogers now has the full documentation within the NCR, and no one will have reason or evidence to accuse you of past crimes. Good luck in your future endeavors, Judge Richter. That was the guy we killed last episode that was our main enemy. Residential citation. Captain Ribbon displayed exceptional professionalism, professionalism and dedication to his duties in coordinating Logistical support and the humane disposal of test subjects during the development of FEV Curling 13, Control Station Enclave. Control Station Enclave is the oil rig. Aw, too. His dedication to service was instrumental to the project's ability to produce hundreds of test subjects and to ultimately render a stable variant of the FEV virus. Captain Ruben's actions are a credit to himself, his unit, and the United States of America. So. We are at a bit of an impasse here. Because this guy clearly did some screwed up shit for the Enclave. However, he's now taking care of a deaf girl. Hi, how are you two? Yeah. Well, let's confront him at least. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? You can see me. <laughs> uh, I found definitive proof that you're Arthur, Arthur Ribbon. I'm taking you in. You can't be serious. That's the most outlandish thing I've heard in years. Do you even have any proof to support such a ridiculous claim? God, I didn't think they could find me after all this time. Sally, she can't make it alone. I can't go. I'd have to go to trial. The NCR will make a spectacle out of me and my granddaughter will be left alone. No, I'd rather die, frankly. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. Just what I feel like doing. You... you do that? I don't know what to say. I didn't expect it. Please don't tell anyone the things I've done. Thank you. Goodbye, stranger. All right, well... Yeah, let's get out of here. It's done. At least I don't have to go chasing after him anymore. Leave him be. <clears throat> now let's go after people that are actually still a threat, shall we? To use a uh, weapon repair kit. Stupid stealth boys. Alright. Save like a madman. There goes the sun. I don't have to go too far here. I think it's just up the road. <coughs> Pretty sure, anyhow. Oh, please don't be bring me on another. Oh. Uh oh. Don't take another step, or I'll put around right in that pretty little smooth-skinned face. It's a shame you failed to bring the good Dr. Friday. I've grown strangely attached to his vengeful musings. As for you, I just wanted to deliver a hearty thanks. 
In one fell swoop, you've delivered my dream. By eliminating the Judge, Red Bear, and other players here, you've opened the doors for me and Sergio. I sincerely wish we could have become acquainted, but we're all victims of the times. Goodbye, bounty hunter. Goodbye, yes. Goodbye. Got someone behind me. Sorry, buddy, but I want your clothes. There's a Friday's badge. Heavy duster and a gunfighter's hat. Yep, you get to die. Die looted here in the desert. I thought he was gonna, like, knock me out and take me captive or something. That shit drives me nuts, but <clears throat> I think that happens, and if, at least I know it happened to me once in the first New Vegas Bounties, but I think it happens again either in this one or in the third one. shooting their guns out of their hands. Oh, there's more. Wow. Is Cass unconscious or something? My armor is just pretty good. Still got that armor I got in uh, Divide. Elite Riot armor. Yeah, right there, Cass. Where are you? Wake up. No kidding. <sighs> that was interesting. Okay, well. Cool. So I've got some. Um, wait a minute. Come on, Pit Boy. Come on. Okay, I can return his badge to Doc Friday. I will do that. Suppose while I'm there, I'll pick up those bounties that are on the board outside. That won't go by. Turn these in. Supposing that they're done after this. Guess he was a friend of uh, Doc Friday's, I would assume. Where you at, buddy? Weird how he doesn't have this here. His brother? Oh, his brother's badge. He must have killed his brother, huh? I never thought I would see this again. I've never had many friends, Courier, but I'd be honored to be yours. Sure. Well, I don't want to be your friend right now. I just want to collect my bounties. <clears throat> I already got a traveling companion. Alright. It is dark as hell. Three bounties. 500 caps for the capture of Four Finger John Albert. He's wanted for armed robbery and other felonies. It was last sighted near the Mole Rat Ranch, accompanied by multiple gang members. Etc. Eating and robbery. Let that quest finish starting so we don't bug something out. 500 caps for the capture of Doug Rude. He's wanted for manslaughter resulted, resulting from dueling. He's last sighted near Good Springs. Okay. How can you arrest someone if the other person agrees to fight? Especially in this wild west post apocalypse. Anyways, 250 caps, cheap. Bloody Brad Jameson, one for robbery and other felonies. Harper's Shack. Alright. Whoever, uh, or the person who made this mod, or the people that made it, really like Latin. Let's go turn in our bounties here. And we'll pick which one to go after first. Alright. What's up, buddy? What can I do for you? 
Okay. Johnny Rounder. Let me just verify that. Yeah, that's his. That's a hell of a relief, kid. Good job. Now, before you go a celebrating, there's another matter. Last night, a blood drenched maniac ran into a ranger station and reported a massacre. He tipped us off about a hidden bunker that supposedly belongs to the infamous Mr. Fisk. Anyway, the guy insists that some badass gang entered the bunker and cleaned it out. He stated that the assailants left him alive to announce their deed. I'm suspicious of this whole affair, so I want you to investigate. I know you're not doing this out of the goodness of your heart, so we'll make it an even 100 in exchange for meaningful evidence. Good luck. Oh god, I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those where I become captured and have to escape. I hate that bullshit. In video games, and TV shows, and movies, it drives me nuts. Anyways. What can I that. do for you, young? Claim a bounty. Okay. What's the bounty? A name bounty. Okay. Here's your reward. And I got one more. More. What can I do for you, young man? Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess I already finished that one when he, um... When he gave him, turned himself in. That finish? Must have. You know, before we go after this, because I think this is what I think it is. Let's, uh, do some of these. Wait a minute. Has this guy not made it here yet? It isn't finished. He's still not here. He'll get here. <laughs> He'll get here sooner or later. Alver Gang's hideout. Okay, by the mole rat ranch we can do that. Let's leave this Fisk bunker thing for another time. I've had enough bunkers and uh, bullshit. At the moment I just want to grab some bounties. Go. I wonder if that building I investigated thinking it was uh, the Enclave guy's house was their place. Just went there prematurely. Pretty possible. Kill that killer cow. Let's wait a few hours. Alright. All rats are safe. The mad Brahmin has been killed. Again. I think it is. I heard he plundered his house. I think it is. Uh, maybe not. Oh, oh, here we go. Hold it right there, fuck nuts. <laughs> Don't take another step. Do you have any idea who I am? What the hell are you doing here? Explain yourself. You had any goddamn sense. You're gonna turn yourself in right now. You've got some nerve to come strolling up to my hideout like this and making demands. Why in the fuck would I turn myself in? Better yet, why shouldn't I just blow your fucking head off for making the suggestion? It'd be the last thing you ever do. Uh, let's do this one. NCR eventually tra will eventually track you down. Someone will always be after that bounty. 20 years is a long time to rot in a goddamn jail cell, kid. But, maybe you're onto something. I can't keep running forever. Eventually some ranger will tag me, and one of my own boys will try to take command. Alright, throw up that damn collar. Once it's on, there ain't no turning back. Alright, GTFO. I only got a few alive. You had better bounty that way. Go, go on, get it. <laughs> okay. Eventually those two idiots will make their way there. Bloody Brand Jameson, the cheap bounty. Of course he's gotta be way down here. Harper Shack, oh god, it's near Deadwind Cavern. That is a major death claw place. Let's try and be there's a unique weapon in there. Uh, I don't know if I want to go in there right now. There's a lot of death claws. <laughs> like I'm gonna wanna bring like a something. 
hardcore. Definitely some power armor or something. Or a bunch of stealth boys. I don't have to sneak kill. I'm not sure. I just know I don't want to go in there right now. Let's do our damnedest to avoid that place. Harper Shack. Don't tell them where we're from or headed. Oh god. What just happened? Oh, of course. Okay. I'll be right back. Now, on second thought, there's actually a better way to get to Harper's Shack that's going to be less likely to draw attention of Deathclaws. And that's up through Prim Pass here. 